Thanks for logging on to WEK.com, the weather tracker and mobile app. I'm meteorologist Jesse Gwen. So a few lingering flurries otherwise while well, we're drying up at this point. Of course, we had that nuisance snowfall wasn't much, but it's important to remember uh, those uh, travel tips this time of the year when we get even those light snowfall accumulation amounts out there. Now we're not looking at snow for the next couple of days, feeling cool till the end of the week. We'll start to see some slightly above average temperatures come around before we know it. By Saturday, we will be tracking the chance for maybe a little bit of rain and snow. We're going to continue to look at more data into the weather center on that as time gets closer. Just be aware. That weather may have an impact on your weekend plans. So here's the evening planner. We'll talk about those numbers staying in the 20s for most of the night. Skies actually do clear up just a smidge as we head into your Thursday. Notice how we'll actually be seeing more and more in the way of sunshine during the day on Thursday across the area. Still going to stay cool though. Highs really only getting to around that average mark around 35 or so. That's the average for this time of the year. 40s come around Friday and as we look at the seven day forecast trend, notice how temperatures gradually on the climb Saturday and Sunday. We could see temps near 40. Again, we'll continue to track that chance of precipitation on Saturday. Monday's the first day of winter officially. Temperatures may actually be 15 degrees above that average mark for this time of the year. Then as we look to the latter part of the work week, we'll talk about Christmas bringing us cold temperatures to central Illinois.